The Ease Editor launched in LumaFusion 2.0 is a pro feature that enables editors to control the rate of change between any keyframes they've set in the LumaFusion clip editors. Now, the changes we make to our media will look more natural and lifelike by adding acceleration or deceleration to the animations and effects we place on our clips. So let's break it down. Up until now, when using keyframes in the Frame and Fit Editor, we would animate the motion of a piece of media, so for example this title, from point A to point B at a constant rate over a set number of frames. But with the new Ease Editor, you can make that motion more natural and lifelike by slowing down and speeding up the transition as it plays through. This helps create a smooth look to your animations, rather than the movement looking harsh and abrupt. Moving on to the Speed and Reverse Editor, easing is used here to create smooth speed ramps. Rather than the speed increasing or decreasing at a constant rate between keyframes, with easing, you can smooth out the transition, gradually moving in and out of those keyframes, achieving a more fluid and true-to-life visual that helps audiences get lost in the story you're telling. Easing also extends to the way you can edit your audio, adding realism and fluidity to the changes you make to your clip. In this example, adjusting the ease of the volume. Here in the Color and Effects Editor, we can make changes to the easing of an effect placed on our clip, giving us much more control over the look and feel of the final output, creating the subtle or dramatic visual effects we desire. To get started with easing in LumaFusion 2.0, tap the Ease Editor icon at the top of the preview window. You'll be prompted to unlock this pro feature with a one-time in-app purchase, which also includes access to speed ramping and enhanced keyframing with Bezier curves. Once you've done this, head to a clip editor where you've made a change over time using keyframes. In this example here, I'm in the frame and fit editor and I've created a slow zoom in on my content as it plays. When I tap the ease editor icon, I can see I've got a constant rate of change on this transition where it starts and stops abruptly. Just watch as I play this out. To add easing here for a more fluid, natural look, cast your eye below the ease graph. Here you'll find two sliders. The purple slider controls the easing going into a keyframe, and the green slider controls the easing going out of a keyframe. Which area of the graph you're editing depends on the position of your playhead, which can be placed on or between keyframes. For a faster rate of change near a keyframe, move the slider to the right. For a slower rate, move the E slider to the left. You can see here I'm creating this S curve on the screen, which gives my animation a slow start and a slow end with a faster rate of change in the middle. Just look at the difference that makes from our original animation that had a constant rate of change. You'll notice that the green out slider has a small rectangular section at the far left. Move your slider to this position if you want to hold a value until the playhead reaches the next keyframe. The yellow line in the graph will turn blue, indicating a hold. This is useful when you want the rate of change to stay constant for a period, creating a sudden change at the next keyframe. So in this example, enabling you to jump from one frame and fit to another without having to split the clip on the timeline first. Continue with your edit until you're happy with how your media plays out. At any stage, you're able to add as many keyframes as you like, delete them, alter their values, or move them around by selecting and dragging to the left or right, or tapping the nudge icons for more precise frame-by-frame -frame edit. When using multiple keyframes on a clip like this, Editors are also able to use the velocity graph to take a closer look at how the rates of change differ between the keyframes in a clip. The X value here is time, and the Y value marks the relative rate of change, with faster values at the top and lower values at the bottom. The graph will change as you adjust the easing, which makes the velocity graph a great visual tool if you want to match the easing heading into and out of a particular set point. 
However, there will be some times where you prefer a faster edit without manually adjusting the sliders and using the graphs to set your own easing yourself. In that case, use the drop down ease presets menu that has a variety of ready made easing templates for you to choose from. Place your playhead on or between two keyframes and when chosen, the preset selected will affect either the highlighted in or out area. You'll find the Ease Editor anywhere keyframes are available in LumaFusion. So dive in and experiment to see how easing can help add a professional, polished look to your edits.